Mr. President, um, I want to talk about Senator Levin uh, from a, a different perspective than my colleagues have. You know, there's a seduction that goes on around here. Uh, you can get lured, lulled and lured into a false sense of security by excellent staff. Now, Carl Levin is fortunate and he has excellent staff, but what many of us are tempted to do at times is to allow staff to do the arcane and tedious work of checking statutory language. I have been blessed to have a front row seat to watch Carl Levin work. From a seat on the Armed Services Committee and a seat on the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, I have watched his excellent staff, but I have watched Carl Levin. This is a man who understands every nook and cranny of statutory construction. He would never be lulled into a false sense of security that he understood the bill just because of what he was told. I will think of Carl Levin fondly one way, his shoulders slightly stooped, his hand grasping a piece of paper, not an electronic device, him walking quickly towards me with his head down, peering over the ubiquitous glasses, saying, Claire, have you read the language? Claire, have you read the language? Read the language. Read the language. He understands the hazards of a misplaced comma. He understands the danger of using an and instead of an or. He understands that is the essence of our work, is to make sure we craft language that lives up to our purpose and ideals. This is a senator's senator. There are no sharp elbows. There is no heated rhetoric. There is frankly no star power on cable TV. No one is dying to get Carl in front of a camera because he will say something incendiary, or he will pick a fight, which all of our friends are anxious for us to do if we would only pick a fight. Carl is methodically doing the grinded out work of legislating. He has the tools of a great senator. Intellect, integrity, good manners, and an unsurpassed work ethic. I will always call him my most important mentor in the Senate. He has taught me more than I can ever say. And I will try desperately to live up to the ideal he has set for all of us. Thank you, Mr. President.